What's going on guys? Welcome to your 26 Java tutorial again with me Travis. What we're going to learn about in today's tutorial is this static and what that means, um, how we can define static variable types. My furnace is going off so hopefully it's not too blurry of audio. Uh, so anyways, let's get into today's tutorial. Um, all we've done so far, if you guys are new to the series, we've created a class called Travis as you can see here and within the Travis we extend some sort of a character setup you won't really need this extends for this tutorial if you're just coming here to learn what static means but when we create a Travis object we want it to have some variables of its own so we're gonna create two variables we're gonna call one counter and uh, we're gonna set this equal to be zero let's create another static integer variable and we're gonna see the difference we're gonna say s counter for static counter and we're just going to set this equal to be zero as well and then we're going to set up a constructor within this class so you can just hit control space hit enter for a default constructor as you can see here so what's going to happen when we create a Travis object is all we're going to do is add one to each of our variable types so we're going to say counter uh, plus plus bam s counter static counter plus plus and bam with the semicolon there we go so now both of our variables are now equal to be one after we create a object because they're initially zero when we call the new Travis it's gonna just add one to the current counter and now we're gonna go back to our starting point class and all we're gonna do is a system print out of our variable type or instance called Travis and we're just gonna say counter and that's what we're gonna print out and we're just gonna copy this line and paste it because we're lazy that's what we do and we also are going to outprint our static variable. So we're going to say s counter. So we're going to save this, run it, and as expected, we both we have a one one. That's cool, right? Um, but uh, the thing that I want to note real quick is Eclipse has given us kind of a warning, like some yellow squiggly lines. He's like, "All right, um, yeah, you aren't supposed to uh, cross the street when the light's not uh, green." So um, I know it's not illegal sometimes, but I'm just warning you, you aren't doing this quite properly. And we're like, hey, computer, we don't even care right now. We don't even know what static means. That's why we're watching this tutorial. So just give me some time here. Um, but uh, what, we're <laughs> what we're doing here is, again, just printing out our variables from this Travis object. But let's say we want to create another Travis object. Let's pretend we're creating a game and uh, we have Travis's on the screen, which are enemies. And we don't want to have like 400 enemies on the screen at one time because it's going to slow down our application, right? So we want some kind of a counter to count to make sure there's only like five total enemies. And basically that's what the static's going to allow us to do. But we haven't got into that yet. All we're going to do is create another Travis object. Pretty much the same thing, right? And uh, we aren't going to system print out t.counter, or actually we will. Good idea, Travis. You're a genius. And uh, there we go. So we have our new variable called t, uh, which is, again is a Travis type. We're going to print out the counter, and we're also going to print out the counter of this other Travis right here. And then we're going to count out our static variable of this Travis as well. So let's save it, see what happens. And we get some kind of a weird thing going on. We have a one, one, which we'd expect, but our static variable is now two. And you're like, okay, that's kind of crazy. That was unexpected. Um, but let's see why that's happening. So let's investigate a little bit um, what the static variable is actually doing. Whenever we define a variable as static, it's gonna be like, all right, that's cool, but uh, you know, I'm gonna stay static. I'm gonna be what I want to be for each object you create from the Travis class. You know, I'm just gonna stay, stand my ground. I don't know if that made sense, but um, let's kind of break down everything that's going on real quickly. Uh, we're gonna go back to our starting point class. We create a Travis object, and it calls the default constructor, as you can see here when we create this Travis here. So we're gonna jump over here, and it's gonna be like, okay, you want a Travis object? Yeah, I can hook you up, bro. I'm going to hook you up with an int variable type called counter. We're going to set that equal to zero. And it's going to be like, okay. But when, when it gets to this line where we create the static variable, 
what it's going to do is it's going to pull out its like phone records. And it's going to browse through there and be like, okay, I know you are trying to create a Travis object right now, but I'm just checking. I know you want it to be set equal to zero, but uh, that's what we're going to set equal to the first time this ever happens. You know, we're just going to do it once. And now I need to check my records, see if it's actually the first time you're creating it. And it's going to be like, all right, yeah, it's the first time you're creating it. It's going to be equal to zero. And then once we call our constructor, obviously, it's going to be plus one. But uh, let's go back to our starting point class. We create this next Travis object. It's going to be like, all right, all right, uh, you want me to go back to the Travis class. That's cool. I'm going to walk over there again. Thanks uh, for making me do that, jerk. And it's going to be like, all right, you want another Travis object. Let me create it for you. Yeah, here's an int counter. We're going to set that equal to zero for you. And it's going to be like, oh, static. Uh, let me check my, f my records again. He pulls out that, you know, whatever, phone records. And uh, he looks through it, and he's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know you want it to be zero, but you know it's already set to one because you already added one to it. Um, so, and since it's a static object, we're going to keep it as is. We're going to keep it at one, and then we're like, oh, okay, that's that's kind of cool. And uh, then we call the constructor again for that other uh, Travis object, which we called T, and it's going to now set our counter equal to one because it was zero, and then it's just going to add one, and then it's going to look through our static records. And it's gonna be like, okay, it was one, and now it's equal to two. So I don't know if that makes sense, but now we can just create as many Travis objects as we want. Um, we're gonna just call this one Trav. We're gonna call new Travis. And now our static variable, when we print this out, it's gonna be three because. Oh, and it's giving me an error because I called. I'm just gonna do args. That's kind of default there. We're just gonna save that and run it, and now it's gonna be equal to three. Because the static won't reset itself to be like zero once you're creating a Travis object. It's going to be like, okay, it, you know, you have a static variable type, so it's going to be the same for all your classes. Like, you know, I know you want it to be zero, but, uh, you know, that's what you signed up for when you use static. So I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain exactly how the static thing works. Um, but it's always going to be kind of the same for all of your classes. So again, right when we created this first Travis object, static was set equal to zero, and then we called our constructor, so it added one to the static integer. And then we created another Travis object, and our static integer was one, but once it calls this constructor, now our static integer is equal to two, and then we create another Travis object, obviously, called the constructor, and then the static integer is now equal to three. So when we do our system printout of our first Travis object right here and then we use the static counter it's going to print out three but now let's get to the warning because the reason it's giving us a warning is because you know whether we have Travis or Trav dot s counter or T dot s counter it's all going to be the same because it's a static variable uh, we've changed it a few times but it's going to be the same no matter what for all of these objects that we've created uh, so basically all it's going to say is, hey, instead of just referring to the instance of the object that you create here, just refer to the class that has that static object, so our class name right here. And then we aren't going to have that error because, again, static object is going to be the same for each object or each Travis that we create. Um, so basically we just want to refer to the class name and then our static variable if we, want, if we need to refer to that variable um, anywhere in our program. So again, I'm sorry guys if the static thing's kind of confusing you. I tried to break it down somewhat so you kind of understand, but uh, you'll get kind of more familiar with it just like all of our tutorials so far the more we use them. So again, just stick with the tutorial series and if you, again, if you guys are confused, I'm um, sorry, but uh, hopefully it'll make more sense as we go. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great day.